I'm now going to show some examples of drawing plain graphics in C Electrical. We have some uh, shortcut examples here of Alt S for snap on and off and Alt T for trackers on and off and space for defining certain lengths, insertion points uh, and sizes of objects. So we're going to start with some of the basics. If we go to draw, we've got straightforward rectangle. We can click a start and end point or we can click a start point and hit the space bar and we can define the size of that 20 by 20. Press enter and we have a, a fixed size on that. Same sort of thing for lines. I can choose a start point, start drawing, and then hit the space bar. And I can type in how, f how long I want that. Press enter, and that's the length defined. So I can click, or I can actually hit the space bar and use a absolute, relative, or polar definitions for the line. Um, we can also turn on trackers, which is this one on the toolbar here with the boxes. Um, the same thing with Alt T turns this on and off and it allows us to define uh, the size. So we have little dots which we can click and uh, drag around the page to define the size of something. A second click on an object changes those uh, sizes into rotation objects. So we can now rotate this uh, and change the center point as well so that we can rotate about a different axis. The next one to the left of that on the quick access toolbar is the snap on and off which allows us as we're placing something in to choose a particular point on an object to snap to. So I could snap to this end and draw it to the center of that line there. As well as uh, rectangles we can also draw objects using polygon areas. So we can choose a start point and as we choose end points we add vertices to the shape. And when you right click it finishes at that point. As we're drawing objects it's worth also being aware that we can change the uh, fill to be instead of no fill to be solid. So for instance if we draw a polygon area over here on the left as we define the first two vertices we start to see a solid shape. Be aware that the rectangle command doesn't allow this. If you want to fill a rectangle so you use a rectangle command first change to a solid fill and then use the fill hatch to fill that object and you can change the color before that or afterwards. We have some other commands here for drawing circles and arcs so a circle simple uh, start point I'm going to change that to be no fill and I can just hit the space bar or click to define the diameter. An arc is uh, very similar. I choose a, a midpoint or a center point. I then go to one side and I define that arc anti-clockwise. So I'm going anti-clockwise now. If I do the same thing again, arc and go to the right, it's still anti-clockwise that you go to actually define the, the arc there. Um, if we have a look at these uh, zigzags at the bottom, I can use that to illustrate bezier and spline curves. So I can use a spline curve by choosing a start point and endpoints and you see the vertices uh, each vertex uh, defines the curve for the next one so it's a single sort of smooth curve uh, with bezier you need um, two axes for each curve so a single click second one third one it's only by the fourth click you actually start to get the curve so you need uh, two vertices for each of those curves to define that um, as well as the standard drawing commands we also have um, editing commands which allow us to make changes to what we've got on there. So for instance if we've got a rectangle select it and we can choose fillet and we can choose what the fillet radius is. So if I put five millimeters that's the radius of the corners now. The same thing can be used for lines that you select that are incident. You can choose fillet or chamfer and choose the radius that you want on there for the actual curve. We can also use uh, trim and extend. So if I show an example here or a line all the way through and then perhaps diagonally. So I can now use the trim command, choose the object to trim by, which in this case is the circle, and I can then take off these diagonals if I want to. Um, if I want to trim across here then the best option here would be to choose break, choose the line and then I'm going to break it between those two points. So I'm going to go to Alt S to turn on the snaps and I'm going to snap from the end point to the point underneath and then I can use the trim if I want to trim between those two points. 
So trim, extend, similar kind of thing. Uh, a break and join allow us to manipulate uh, lines within that. There are of course many more drawing tools in C-Electrical, but this gives a brief introduction to the important ones to start with.